Just a quick note before the video, I do use a lot of pictures in the video and in no means do I own those pictures. Those are due to copyright and just because I don't want anything, this is a quick disclaimer. Also, I do zoom in a lot often, so epilepsy warning and headphones users, beware I am loud. Hello guys, Luna here and welcome back to another video. So today, as you can see, we are currently in a murder mystery, uh, Hypixel Lobby. And this is because I've actually seen this as a little bit of a problem, but of the fact that there's something you don't see often on YouTube. Now, just to make sure uh, you guys understand, this is going to be a Hypixel achievement guide for murder mystery. And, you know, you know, I'm a good person to be asking this because if you go into murder mystery achievements, you know, uh, all of these, all of these, it's, you know, I'm just really good at the game, I, I, I got almost everything done. We don't, we don't talk about those, okay. But anyway, so, what this video is gonna be, I'm just gonna go through a rundown of every single one of these achievements. There are a few that I have not completed yet, but those are just because they're freaking annoying, okay? I got most of them done, you guys can listen to me. Alright, with that out of my way, let's just... Get into the ways. So, I'm gonna give you guys a tip for every single one of these. Starting off with Trigger Happy Havoc. So, with Trigger ha Happy Havoc, you have to fire 50 bow shots in a single game. Now, to do this, what you have to do is you have to go on to the Ancient Tomb map. And on the Ancient Tomb map, you have a chance, uh, whenever you use the gold, uh, the gold trader, to get uh, the bow. And not just a normal bow, this bow gives you the ability to shoot infinitely. So it's just infinity on a bow. So that's what you do. Just take that and just spam that for like 50 times, you'll be fine. Number two, you tried. Get hit in melee while you are invincible. Now obviously, you're going to have to do this on library because that's the only place where you can get invincible. And all you can really do with this is just go on library, uh, go do a bunch of potions, wait until you're invincible, and... Not much you can do with this one. You're just gonna have to hope someone hits you again A lot of these are going to be a lot easier with friends So if you have friends take them along with you if they're murderer that would be fun And also with that you can get some other ones done well traveled Use the rapid transport to visit all four destinations in the same game on transport is actually one of the easier ones All you have to do is go on to the tra transport map and once you're on transport map All you have to do is you go into one of the destinations and then once you get to one of the places with the fast transport, which is, actually I'm pretty sure you guys know what it is. Once you get to places like those, you go into one, and then you right click the destination on that slot, and you keep moving to different ones that you can get that fast done. Shut up and dance! Uh, just activate a gesture for the first time if you're not sure what the gesture is. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, here it is. Alright, in gestures all you have is in here, you got a bunch of these gestures. If you don't have any right now, so as currently I have all three of these from chests, what you can do is you can just go to the end and just buy this one or any of the cheaper ones. Just because they're all kind of expensive, but you can get some pretty cheap ones. But anyways, moving on, all you have to do is get into the game and use it. Top Zombie, infect five survivors in a single game of infection. Now for this one, when you're in infection, the thing you can hope for is actually becoming the alpha because as alpha you can kill a bunch of people at the start without people under knowing it was you and that's fun i can bench buck fall which is fall down a tower now this one's really simple in the kingdom one so in the kingdom map where you have this giant tower thing and a staircase you just go to the top wait until someone opens a trapdoor you can open it yourself and just fall in most people happen on accident it happens on accident a lot anyway this isn't a fun fair maybe Again, this is also extremely easy. Uh, on the... Let me find that map name. Hypixel World. Yeah. On Hypixel World, there is a monorail, which is the th kind of roller coaster thing that goes around the map. That thing is what you ride on, and that gives you that achievement. We're going to come back to that later. Saving the day. Be the hero of a game. To be a hero of a game, what you have to do is you have to kill the murderer while not being a detective, so what you have to do is you have to collect 10 uh, We have to collect 10 gold that gives you a bow and then you have to shoot the murderer again This is something you can normally get a lot just as you saw over there 55% of all players get it normally anyway All you have to do is just collect a lot of gold 
and then just wait around until someone actually figures out who the murderer is or until you figure out who it is and then you just go ahead and shoot them. That was easy. Collect 10 gold in the first minute of the game. Uh, with this one, what you kind of want to do is choose a smaller map because that means a lot more gold spawns a lot quicker. So I would say Ancient Tomb is a decent one. And actually, yeah, that's pretty much all you can do it on easily. Uh, also, you can technically what you can do is you can do it on a Hypixel World 2 with the gambling house, but you can die from that, so that might get a bit aggravating after a little bit. Cacti cleared. Help clear all the cacti in one game on Gold Rush. Now, what this means is on Gold Rush, which is the map that looks like an old western place, they got a bunch of cactuses, and in one of the houses, they've got a... Uh, they got a man who sells you TNT for two, TN two gold each. Now, what you want to do is you just want to buy one or two of them, blow up some cacti. Now, every cacti you burn up or blow up, it also drops some gold. So that's fun because you can just keep going and buying more TNT. Especially if friends, this can be done very, very quickly. Elementary, my dear Watson. Accidentally shoot yourself with a bow. Now, you can do this as pretty much anyone, but what you want to do is as a detective, which is normally how you can do it the fastest, you just get into the game, you look up and you shoot. It hurts. History erased. Witness the destru destruction of all Kali's soldiers on Ancient Tomb. Now what you want to do on this one is, in Ancient Tomb, you got those like terracotta warriors, you know? They're, they're very beautiful historical artifacts, you just want to destroy them. Just step on every last one of them. Well, that's cool. Play one of the mini games in the lobby. Now what you want to do is, when you're in this lobby, which is the lobby you do, if you just click into Murder Mystery, you should all be here before. You just want to head into this house over here. Move here, and then on either side of the doorway, you got a mini game. So normally I play this one because it's so much easier. I'm not gonna play right now, but pretty much in this one, it's a whack-a-mole. You're standing in there, a bunch of things come out. If it's red, you don't smack it. If it's green, you smack it. And over here, you have a punching ball. Pretty much you just repeatedly click right and left click really fast, and that gets this one done. Can't touch this. Win a game ball, be invincible. Okay, for this one, again, you're gonna have to be on library. In fact, a lot of these challenges are actually on library. Uh, so first of all, you had to get the invincibility thing. Second, this a lot again. This is a lot easier when you're a murderer or you're you're with your friends and one of them is murderer. But all you have to do is get invincible. And if you are a detective, uh, you should be able to just find the person, and shoot them. Not much you can do there, or you can just drink it as the game's about to end if you found a good hiding spot. Play both of the arcade games on cruise ship. So again. They are these games, okay, but just on cruise ship. Now, on cruise ship, if you go below decks, there are both of those games, and I'm supposing if you play both of them in a row, you'll be fine. So just remember, you need a little bit of gold to play them, so make sure you collect enough for that. As murderer, win with less than 15 seconds remaining. Now, with this one, that one's really... It's not too annoying. It's not too difficult. It's just... What I normally do is, you just want to wait. Uh, you find the last person, if possible. And you just make sure that you can see them, but they can't see you, and last moment, just shoot and kill them. Uh, I actually got that accidentally once playing with friends. So, I can't really say much about that one. Get eaten by a shark. Now, on Aquarium. So, let me see if I Yeah, on this map, Aquarium, what you want to do is, if you go upstairs, there is... There are these platforms where you can hop around on. And under that platform is a shark, so if you fall down there, you die. If you die, you get eaten. Catch me if you can. As innocent, win, bef win because the murderer's time ran out. Uh, this one, you just want to find a place to hide. Now, generally, it is kind of annoying because there is the chance that the murderer will die before you win, you know? Because someone could just shoot the murderer. Like, there is the chance that the murderer is trash. By the way, uh, there is one map that I really want to show you guys on this. So actually, I'm going to hop in game real fast. And show you what I believe to be the best map for this. I'm currently on transport and this is actually the map I recommend for you guys to play on if you do want to get that achievement just because there is a actually decently good hiding spot and in fact along with this challenge you can get a second one done which is to do the exact same thing except you don't collect any gold so there is in fact a challenge where you don't collect any gold and you win without doing anything or really just running around and waiting for the murderer to die provided this guy doesn't die what you want to do is you head into crew quarters and you head over to the beds now what the beds are are they're just some bunk beds uh this obviously is not the place i'm looking for but what you want to do is you just head into here i think that might be the murder it's not that 
might be the murderer. All right, you just jump onto this flower pot. From here, you want to hop over to this keypad over there, if I can make that jump. Ah, well, that guy just killed me. But yeah, anyway, all you want to do is you want to jump over onto this keypad from that flower pot, depending on how well you can jump, because obviously I'm bad at the game. But anyway, once you're up here, just jump over here, or over there, actually. It doesn't really matter. See, this guy's already doing it. He's a smart boy. Anyway, just jump over here and just hide here. Normally, nobody knows the spot is here. So as long as you can jump properly like I can't, you'll be fine. Receive a blessing and a curse from Kaylee in the same game on Ancient Tomb. Now this one's actually decently easy. All you want to do is once you're in Ancient Tomb, you collect enough gold uh, and you just gift it to Kaylee, okay? And then once it turns green or at least uh, light, like greenish yellow, um, you should be able to click it and you get a uh, blessing. Now, what you want to do after that is just keep on spamming it until you lose all your favor with Kaylee and she gives you a curse, and that's all you really have to do. You know, you got a blessing if the text in the chat is green. You know, if you got a uh, curse if it's red. It's high noon. Kill the murderer as an innocent or any innocent as a murderer with a bow whilst riding a horse on gold rush. Now, generally, this is easiest with obviously murderer. <clears throat> so, what you want to do is, as murder, you'll have to collect 13 gold. So, 10 for a bow, and then 3 for a horse. Now, once you get the horse from behind the uh, horse stables at the back of the map, you just want to go riding around with a bow, and once you see either someone AFKing, or you see someone else just really slow or walking a very straight line, just aim and shoot. It's, it's easy. Don't don't quote me on that. You did not see that coming. Kill a mer player while riding the monorail. Actually, I prefer to do this on detective. So again, the monorail, if you guys forgot, is that railroad system that goes around Hypixel Park or Hypixel World, whatever you want to call it. And then all you want to do is get into that as someone else gets into that. And then since they're stuck in there, you just turn back and shoot them. You might die. You'll probably die, but Go get the achievement. <clears throat> Wrong weapon. As murderer, get three kills in one game with a bow. Now, you could do this with the Kaylee's bow, like what you would do for the 50 shots in the game. But another way you could do it is actually just collecting a lot of gold. It's not too hard to get it, and once you have enough gold to kill people with it, you really don't have to worry after that, because you just shoot people. Storm Chaser. Survive the storm without going to the lower deck on cruise ship. Now, obviously, if you guys play cruise ship, you realize that... Every so often, there's a bit of a storm outside of the cruise. And if you stay outside, there's a chance of you getting struck by lightning. So there's not much you can do about that. All you have to, do, all I can really say is head somewhere that's still outside, but still has some cover. So I would say underneath one of the eaves or one of the notches in the wall. They don't protect you completely, but they give you more protection than just standing in midair. Win a game due to the murderer falling into a trap door. Play the tower one, and then just wait until people walk onto the trapdoor, let them off, and they die. Paranoid much? Place 18 shield spawners in one game. For this one, all you want to do again is go onto transport, and pretty much in every single uh, room, there is a machine that gives you those spawners. Now, for every three gold you collect and put it into there, you get three shields. However, you can only have three at one time, so you can't hoard. So what you want to do is just collect three gold, and then get the shields. And since the shields actually have a cooldown every time you use it, you just keep spamming them behind you. And as you're spamming them, look for more gold, and just continue that until you have 18. Again, this is actually easier as murder, because no one can really kill you without being a stupid boy, because why would they kill a regular innocent person if they don't? Bullseye! Nail a sword throw from over 30 blocks! Uh, just wait for an AFK person and just walk backward until it's... I don't know, 30 blocks doesn't really seem that far. I've tried. It's really annoying. But yeah, pretty much, if you shoot from here, just aim for like a person that's currently at like the assassin's area right there. That's about how far you want to be. So if you want to do that one, just find an AFK person. It's the easiest way, really. Lock and load. As innocent, have three arrows at once. Just collect gold. In fact, if you're on ancient... Uh, if you're on the ancient map, so ancient tomb, 
uh, if you get blessings, there's actually a really high likelihood of you getting bows and arrows. So if you just get those three times, you should be good. Or you can actually collect 30 gold, which I wouldn't recommend because it's kind of annoying. Arrow streak. Get five five kills in a row with a bow. Now, again, you're going to have to use Kaylee's bow, which is the infinity bow, on Kaylee's map. Now, you just want to be a murderer because there's really no other way. I've tried the map. There's actually a chance in double up, but it's not worth it. It's really not. And then what you want to do is you just want to use the murderer, get Kaylee's bow, and if you haven't killed anyone up to that point, no one will know, and you just find a group of people and just kill them. Kaylee's favorite, raise your favor with Kaylee to 10 or above on Ancient Tomb. Now for this one, all you have to do is to raise favor, you just give uh, give the little ghost boy some gold. So on Ancient Tomb, just head over to the gold boy and just give them a bunch of gold. If you give them enough, you'll see in the comments, just don't use up the gold or the favor because every time you get a blessing you lose some favor. Lies and dies as murderer get 5 kills in 5 seconds. Well really for this one all you're gonna have to hope for is just find a l large clump of people hiding together and then just whoop how them all like there's nothing left. Just wait until you find a group hiding either at the same place or just sitting around a general area and you just come up behind them and just yapoosh. Yeah, Not today. Ask murderer kill that detective within 30 seconds of receiving your weapon. Again, this is easiest when you have friends, but this also requires a lot of luck. So, all you really want to do is the moment you get into the game, just murder everyone you see. It doesn't matter who it is, it doesn't matter if it's your friends or your enemies. You just go in and you murder them. You shove your stick, your carrot on the stick, your sword, your basket, whatever you're using into the- Last survivor. Be the last survivor standing in infection. So, for this one, you're gonna obviously going to have to play in the infection game mode. And for that, you just need to find a good hiding space, so... There's not many you can do, so you can obviously do the same one on transport. Uh, there's a few other decent ones if you want to figure, if you want to see those, if you want a video on the best hiding places in every map. Uh, tell me in the comments, I can go make a video on that. Caught in the act. Kill the murderer within three seconds after they killed someone. Now, for this one, obviously you just you want to be the detective. That's the best case scenario. And what you want to do as a detective, if you're not a detective, just become a just grab a bunch of gold. There's not much else you can do. As detective, what you want to do is just run around, make sure you're keeping your eye on everyone. So don't hide, don't try to stay away from anyone. If you see someone die, just go all in, okay? Or if you don't want to do it because they're too far away, keep an eye on the person and wait until you get a clear shot and also while they're killing someone else. So you can go kill them faster. Assassin, as murderer, kill three players in one game by throwing your knife at them. That's there's not much to that, you just look at people and just throw their knives. A lot of the times people tend to run in straight lines, and if you can do that, you can just simply lead them a little and just throw your box, it's, it's, there's nothing much to it. On point, as innocent, kill the murderer with your first bow shot. You're not gonna get much of a chance unless you have like 50 shots, but all, right, all you wanna do is just get a bow as an innocent from 10 gold and you just shoot the person. It's time to stop. Select, receive five different curses from Kaylee in the same game as Ancient, on Ancient 2. Now, for this one, you just literally go to the dude and just spam it for five times. I am your shield. Deploy a barrier that blocks an arrow or thrown sword on transport. Now, for this one, if you're a detective or murderer on transport, all you want to do is you just put it down and you actually just shoot the shield yourself or just throw your sword at it yourself too. Because that actually can't surprise me, because Hypixel doesn't fix their games. Totally tubular. Kill another player whilst using the rapid transport and transport. All right, so for this one, again, um, murderer or detective, either is fine. I actually prefer using uh, murder. I, use, I prefer using murderer, but detective is actually a decent choice for that because of how fast the bow actually goes. But yeah, all you wanna do is you just go into the monorail the moment someone else does, or not the monorail, the rapid transport the moment someone else does. And if they do that, all you want to do is just, just want to aim forward or towards wherever they're heading. Just throw your sword or your bow and that should kill them because they can't move and it goes in a straight line. I am special. Be murderer or detective two games in a row. Not much you can do about that. I can't help you with that. Bolt Hunter, pick up 30 gold in one game. J just pick up a lot of gold. I mean, especially in Ancient Tomb, because in Ancient Tomb, there is a blessing that lets you pick up three gold for every one gold you pick up. So just after you get that blessing, if you get that blessing, you can just pick up 
what, nine, three, three or four gold, then you have that challenge done. No money, no problem. Now, this is the one I just talked talk to you guys about. So, as innocent, survive to the end of the game while the murderer is still alive without having collected any gold. So, for this one, what you want to do is just want to hide in the same hiding place I showed you before. That is what I found to be the best case scenario. That's the best place to hide. There are a lot, again, a lot of other hiding places, just I don't have the time to show you those right now. Beyond the grave, return from the dead and win the game on Ancient Tomb. Now for this one, it's actually decently easy on either map, but on really any 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 person you are, you're fine with this. So what you want to do is, again, a rare blessing that you can get from Kaylee is the comeback to life one. So for that one, pretty much all that happens is if you die, you don't die. So it's a yes but actually no thing. But anyway, what you want to do is once you get that blessing, because it's actually pretty rare, you want to get a bunch of gold for that. Once you get that blessing, all you want to do is just keep playing that game, keep playing, and if someone kills you, in fact, you want to die, right? So if you get a bow, shoot yourself if it's close to the end of the game. And then once you shoot yourself, that'll kill you, but that'll also bring you back to life. And then after that, if you still have another bow, or if you're the murderer, just kill other people and you'll win the game. Shooter. As detective, shoot the murderer from over 30 blocks. Again, this is actually a lot harder than the innocent one. Just because you gotta kill someone specific. So, for this one, all I can really tell you to do for this is get your friends on. If you can get a friend, especially if, uh, if they're a murderer on a map. What you can hope for is either your detective yourself, or they kill the detective and you pick up the bow. Because if you can do that, and you have a friend that's willing to help you with stuff like this, then you just line it up so you want to go really far away from each other. Make sure you have a good shot at them and just shoot. Again, a lot of these depend on friends or are a lot easier with friends. So if you have friends, that's nice. If you don't like me, though, well, you're just going to have to hope. We are set. Find and enter the combination to open the secret chamber on Gold Rush. Now this is actually the mystery, the secret achievement for m murder mystery. So I don't have the time to actually do this challenge. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to link a video which shows you exactly how to do it into the description. It's not going to be mine, but it is someone who actually has done this exact same thing. Uncalculated. As murderer, win with more than two minutes remaining. So for that, you're just gonna have to kill everyone at the start. So just go all in because the game has about four minutes at four minutes and all. So as long as you can kill everyone in two minutes, that's what you want to do. So just find a good map. Just if you're murderer, you got murder. Yeah, jeez, I'm stocked. Where's my EMP? Kill all 15 players in one round as murderer. Now for this, you're just gonna have to hope that no one kills each other. So obviously, you're gonna have to play on a map that doesn't really have a way of self-killing so let me just go through all of the maps and show you the best ones so ancient tomb is a decent place there's not really any way for people to die by themselves without shooting themselves which normally doesn't happen gold rush is also a good map again same reasoning library you can fall so not that one this has a shark archives top floor this one's also okay except for the fact they have a painting you can fall through dark fall now that's also okay, but the thing is people can burn each other alive with torches and that's not fun. Hypixel World, you can die from the gambling machine. Headquarters is not bad actually, you can probably do it on headquarters too, unless someone drowns, which is a possibility. Hollywood, you can blow up on the set. Mountain, um, hmm, I don't exactly remember that one, I think that's the snow one. Well the snow one, snow can fall and kill you during the blizzard. Skyfall Pier, you can jump off, no you can't. You should be fine on Skyfall, Skyway Pier unless someone drowns again. Snowfall is actually the water, uh, the snow one, so I'm not sure about Mountain. But yeah, again, Snowfall you can die from snow, and Widow's Den you can fall down into lava or a pit. Wicked Ride, be the last innocent alive and win the game while riding the monorail. Now for this one, all you want to do is as innocent. First you want to just sit around and wait until you're the last one standing, easier said than done. But on Hypixel World, you can just hide in one of the teddy bears or whatever. Once everyone else is done, and if you've collected a little bit of gold, you just go ahead and keep riding monorails. And if you keep doing that, the murderer can't really catch you and they don't really know if you're on the monorail. Because if they run all the way to the corner, they don't really know. It's a decently easy challenge. Just wait until you're out there. Humiliation. As murderer, use a bow and arrow to kill the detective. Now for this one again, friends make it a lot easier. If you don't have friends, eh, you're just gonna have to go as murderer and just get a bunch of arrows, 
probably Kaylee's bow is the best for this. And just shoot everyone you see. Don't never use your sword, just use your arrow, and eventually you'll kill the detective. Or hopefully you have a friend that's playing with you and they can tell you who it is, and you just. Eh. Blind Justice, kill the murderer while being blinded. This one. I got this purely on accident. I just played on library, got the blindness effect as a detective, and as I was walking around, I just turned around, saw someone holding a knife, and I just shot, and I killed them, so not much you can really do there. One thing you can do is make sure you're in a narrow and confined space so that they cannot move around too much. If you can do that, you just shoot in their general direction, they're pretty much dead. Moving around, kill the murderer before anyone has died. I... Mm. For this one, again, easiest if you have a friend. If you have a friend, you're just gonna have to collect enough gold and meet up with them and kill them, tell them not to kill anyone else. There is, however, the chance that people are gonna die by themselves, because people are stupid. Sniper, shoot a throw knife with a bow. Now, one thing you can do with bows is, when you shoot a bow at a thrown sword, they collide in midair, and when that happens, both of them break, so nothing happens. So, for this one, not much you can really do. Um, obviously, you have to be either a detective or innocent, so I prefer detective because you get more shots, but anyway, you just want to find a murderer, and if you're far enough away, just pretend you're AFK, if he tries to throw the sword at you, you just turn and just shoot it. Also, another way <clears throat> is if you're, chasing, if you're chased around, and you're in a narrow area like a hallway, a lot of the times, if you're running a straight line, they'll try to throw a sword at you, so what you want to do, you just turn around every so often and just shoot your bow towards the murderer, and that makes sure that if they throw the sword, You've countered it. Close enough. <clears throat> be the last one alive and kill the murderer. For this, you're just gonna want to be a coward and hide. And once you've hidden enough and you see the murderer is the last person standing, you either grab enough gold for a bow, grab the bow as a detective, and now we're coming on to the two I have not actually finished yet. And that's mainly because I can't freaking get a game in the library where I'm the murderer. I'll do both of these in one round actually. Kill three players while invisible. This one's actually extremely easy. I just haven't had the chance of being murderer on. Uh, the right map yet. So anyway, for this, what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and grab a bunch of potions as murderer and just keep drinking them until you get the invisibility effect. Now, if you hang around a lot of people, you'll have a better chance, but you do have 14 seconds of invisibility. And with those 14 seconds, you can just go and kill any three people. I'm pretty sure you don't have to kill them in the same potion. Just kill them in general. And the second one, drink 16 potions in one match. Again, it's a lot easier when you're the murderer. Because no one's trying to kill you, except someone killed me without knowing I was murderer, so I don't know. Finally, we're gonna get into the tiered achievements, and after this, this will be the end of the video. So, Hoarder, Peace is Mine, Stabber, and You're All in Mine. So Hoarder, all you want to do is collect a bunch of gold. So, in all, if you want to get all the way to the top, you need to collect 2,000 gold. As you can see, I've done a little more than that. <laughs> yeah, for this, there's not much you can do. If you just play this game a lot, you'll eventually get a bunch of gold anyway, in any way possible. Peace is mine, win 60 games as innocent or detective without dying. So for this, since it's the main two people that you play as, detective and innocent, it's decently easy to get all of these done. So obviously this is 60 games, it's not too much actually if you spam this game a lot. So obviously as you can see I've played a lot of games. Continuing on, stabber, which is just kill a bunch of people as murderer. Again, if you kill, actually, if you think about it, if you kill every single person in a regular classic match, that's 15 people every game. And then that would be in 10 games, you can easily get to stab or five. But anyway, an easier way is just play doubles. And if you play doubles, then if you're a murderer, just, you can just kill a lot more people. First of all, you have a higher chance of being murderer. Second of all, there's a lot more people to kill. Finally, I have to finish this up still. But you just have to win 35 games as a murderer. I've gotten to 20 so far. This, you just kind of get lucky and play as murderer. But anyways, guys, that is my video. I've been talking for a lot. My voice is now sore because I've been talking very fast, very loud for the past 38 minutes now. So I'm gonna edit this out and I'll be sending this out. I hope this helped you guys. Again, if you guys wanna see a video where I show you guys the best hiding spots on the maps, like and comment down whether or not you wanna see that. Also like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video or this helped you at all. I hope this did because I, I needed a lot more help when I was playing this because I definitely could not do this by myself. Aside from that, um, to all of my fans who are returning, yes, I know that I haven't really been making any survival videos or any videos that I normally make, but I will be returning those really soon, just been a bit burned out for those. But don't worry, they should be one of my next videos. So again, without any further ado, 
Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.